Hello, beautiful souls. It carries a very regal, royal kind of energy. And the card actually says, maybe on it. Because different tarot cards can indicate yes or no energy. This card is neither a yes or no, it's literally a maybe card. And I see that kind of ironically representing you, Divine Feminine. Being yes in your empowerment, staying on your throne, keeping your crown on. Metaphorically speaking. And yet, when it comes to these different romantic options or opportunities, if it doesn't connect as a romantic option, this could be life options or opportunities, you are keeping your options open in the sense that you are focusing on making those radical inner changes within yourself. Those inner changes are breaking free energetic bonds from within you that are actually causing the energy of your aura to vibrate at a faster rate, which is automatically raising your frequency and shifting you into higher timeline potentials. So, as I said, you are shifting through timelines very quickly through the inner work that you are accomplishing from within yourself. And because consciously or subconsciously, you are aware that you are going through this timeline shifting where things are changing very rapidly internally, vibrationally, which is naturally reflecting externally. Physically, you are aware that you are not willing to fully lock yourself into any particular set physical timeline trajectory because things are still in flux. Things are still changing. You are still on the rise, vibrationally speaking. And I feel almost as though nothing has quite felt 100% aligned for you as far as these options and opportunities. Of course, that's not to say you haven't allowed yourself to live life, to explore, to seek out different options. And again, I could be speaking romantically for some of you. For others, I really could be speaking socially. Maybe you've drifted between different groups of friends or social experiences, but never really felt like you truly desired to lock in a particular social field, a community in a certain place. The same could be true about your work. Take this as it resonates, but for many of you, I will feel this connecting when it comes to love. This sense that yes, you have these options, but nothing has felt 100% aligned as far as locking anything in in a concrete way. It's almost as though, and again, this doesn't necessarily have to be a karmic relationship or marriage. They may have chosen a heavily karmic path that looks different in 3D. When I refer to these karmic paths and karmic energies, this can manifest in many different ways. Did I'm getting that they made choices that had long-term impacts on their life. I keep hearing the word contract. So, if it's not a marriage contract, it could be a work contract. This feels very binding, whatever it is, for a period of time. Like they made choices to go towards a karmic energy or situation, and that actually led to some kind of long-term binding contract. They from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. <laughs>